Welcome to the Zan and Shub podcast, where we discuss all things college football. My name is Zan. This is my co-host Shub. We got another good video today for you, as usual. So there's been a lot of talk recently about the Pac-12, the ACC. The first proposal we're going to discuss is the Pac-12 and the ACC, announcing that possibly they could have a partnership where they play in their respective conferences and their champions play each other. Shub, do you want to start us off and kind of explain what we're what we're looking at here? Yeah, so basically what this is here, what you're looking at is the last five champions of the Pac-12 and ACC. And we decided let's do a little bit of revisionist history here. If the Pac-12 and ACC are actually going to do this and have their conference champions play each other, let's see what it actually would have looked like. What will it feel like when this actually happens? We can at least go back and apply this to previous seasons. And obviously you guys remember last year is pretty fresh in our minds. Utah won the Pac-12, Pitt won the ACC. And those two teams probably wouldn't have made the college football playoff. I think it's fair to say that the winner of this game had too many losses piled up and would not have made the four team college football playoff. Now, if there was an expanded playoff in the future, maybe this game matters a lot more, but we shall see. And if you look back further past 2021, looking at 2020 through 2017, what really stands out is Clemson. I don't really think that Clemson playing the winner of the Pac-12 in each of those seasons would have necessarily dropped them off out of the college football playoff if they had lost those games because if you look at Clemson each of those seasons in 2017 I believe they were undefeated going into that in 2019 they were undefeated going into that game as well so if Clemson had played those games and lost to Oregon or USC respectively I don't really think it would have knocked them out of the college football playoff. The only one shoe that I think could have potentially knocked them out is that 2019 one, just because you look at how close the ranking discrepancy is there. So maybe Oregon could have overtaken them or taken the four spot or who knows, but I see what you're saying here. For the most part, there's not enough of a difference here to really make any meaningful impact in, in the past uh, history of the games or what would have been. And then if you go back even to 2017, those that 2017 USC team with Sam Darnold, Juju Smith-Schuster, maybe they sneak in if they had upended that clemson team in 2017 but we don't really know again this is just revisionist history here i think the big question is how much does this actually really benefit the conferences in an expanded playoff because obviously in a four-team playoff as i just mentioned it might help but if there's an expanded playoff how much is this game really going to matter especially if there's automatic qualifiers if there's automatic qualifiers in the new playoff for each of the conferences then what's really the gain by playing this game? Because the Pac-12 champion will have its champion in the field. The ACC champion will be in the field as well. What's the point of playing that extra game other than maybe getting potentially better seating in the college football playoff for the winner? So when you look at the breakdown of these two conferences and the proposed championship games that would be played in Las Vegas, that's the proposal that's been kind of tossed around. You would notice here that in a four-team playoff model, there could be some benefit here. You look at the 2017 USC Clemson matchup, like the Oregon matchup with in 2019. Just like you said, those could give leeway for teams like USC and Oregon to maybe slip into the playoff. But however, if it's, a, if it's an automatic qualifier kind of thing and they do expand the playoff at some point in time, this game isn't really all that beneficial except for maybe to drive a little bit of extra revenue from a game. But ultimately, it would be meaningless. There wouldn't be a lot of power in it because you've already won your conference and you already have the automatic qualifier and so that to me i think your fan base would want to watch that game but ultimately there's no meaning behind the game so why play the game so that's kind of what that one boils down to and ultimately this is if the pac-12 and acc acc still exist in the next few years so there's a lot of hoopla going on with this, but this is just one of the proposed things that is going on in college football right now. The Pac-12 and ACC potentially getting together and getting this going. Shoe, I think it's a it's an okay idea on paper. It's a, it's a unique concept, but I just don't see it happening. What about you? I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up depending on what the playoff format is. Like we just said, if there's automatic qualifiers, there's really no need to do this other than to just have an extra game to make more money. Or if there aren't any automatic qualifiers and you are fighting an uphill battle to compete with the Big Ten and SEC Super Leagues, then this is an absolute must. This is for sure something that needs to happen. But that's what it boils down to at the end of the day for me too. 
Well, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you think is going to happen with this format. Let us know what you think the benefits of this format could be. If you think it's a viable format, or if you'd like to see it as a fan of either a Pac-12 ACC or even outside the Pac-12 and ACC, let us know what you want the Pac-12 to do. And thank you for watching.